Hey guys, it's Jana, and today I wanted to share with you some of my ideas for the kids for Christmas. So I curated a whole list on Amazon and I will put all the links down below to everything that I mentioned today. If you're anything like us, your kids have a lot of toys and you're anticipating receiving a lot of toys come this Christmas. Uh, my kids also have their birthdays in December and to top it all off, they're the only grandkids on both sides. So you can only imagine all of the wonderful gifts that they do get they just get a lot of it. So my idea this year, and I thought it might be helpful to y'all, is I don't want to get them toys. Does that make me a bad mom? I want to get them things that are useful. Not that toys aren't useful. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I know that they're going to get toys from all of their grandparents and aunts, uncles, and everybody, which is great, and I love that. I hope that doesn't come across mean or ungrateful or unthankful, because we definitely are. They are very much blessed, and it's pretty awesome that we have so many wonderful family members that love them so much. So I just wanted to share my ideas with you guys, just in case you happen to be in the same predicament I am. Toy overload. You've seen the toy room. I'm not crazy. So I curated a list on Amazon of everything that I think would be an awesome gift. Um, some I will be getting the kids, some maybe not, because some are kind of expensive, some are not that expensive, but I guess you'll just find out when I do my Amazon Christmas haul of what I ended up getting. So let's go Christmas shopping. The first thing I thought was really fun was these how to draw books. There was a ton of them, and they're actually really cheap, $5 each, so that's pretty awesome. They're on Prime, so they will get to you fast, but there's all different kinds. So here's animals right here. Um, look at all these. So funny people, dolphins and sea animals, dinosaurs, fairies, baby animals, monsters. I mean, there's tons of them, and they're all 5 bucks and under. That's really cool. Emma loves drawing so I think these would be perfect for her staying on the drawing here look at this that is so cool it has the fat markers the skinny markers the color pencils and crayons all in one box so that is really nice and I really really like it it's actually not that expensive 20 bucks so not bad it looks like they have different themes here oh with the paper and the box so that's pretty cool. So hear me out on this one, guys. Um, this is actually probably the best present we have gotten for the kids. The kids were super surprised, and it is literally the gift that keeps on giving. Our kids love to draw and make things, cut out stuff, origami. I mean, just paper craft after paper craft after paper craft, and you know, that ends up being a lot, and it is so nice that they're like, Mom, I'm gonna go run out to the garage and grab another thing of paper. Perfect, great, it's wonderful, because there is more there. It is like so awesome. So it's actually a fantastic present that just keeps on giving. The kids have hours and hours of fun with it because, you know, they can draw and do whatever the heck they want with it. And. I'm not upset that they're taking my computer paper, because they're not, because they have their own paper and everything. All right, let's see what else we got on here. The pocket charger. Oh, saved by the pocket charger. Oh my gosh, if your kids are anything like mine, which they probably are, because kids, they just do this. They do not remember to throw all of their electronics, like their Kindles and their headphones and stuff on the charger. So they end up taking my pocket charger and charging their things while they're trying to play with them or read on them or whatever with them. And then I get the charger back and it's totally zapped and I can't charge my phone or whatever when I want to. So last year we actually got them their own little pocket chargers and it was perfect. This is a lifesaver. It is nice to have multiples of these in your house, um, especially since there's more and more and more electronics that need to be charged. On that note, 
This is awesome. We got the kids a charging station um, similar to this. Ours is black, but it has all these spaces for any technology that needs to be plugged in. It is so nice. I just have it on their desk. You probably have seen it. Um, and they can just plug in whatever they need to plug in. And here's a charging station for the Joy-Cons for the Switch. Not everybody has a Switch, I know, but Quinny does, and it happens all the time that, because on the screen, it you can only have two of the joysticks at a time, so those ones are charging while it's hanging out on the dock, and then the other two are not charging, so then all of a sudden, everybody wants to play, and we can't. I think that this is definitely going to be on the list this year. Speaking of things to charge, you guys have seen my video about these headphones, the Puro Sound Labs headphones. Awesome. They are Bluetooth, they're governed, so they don't pop the kids' eardrums or anything exciting. So these are actually really good. The kids really like them, and they come in all different colors. Um, I think, what, Quinny got the black ones. And Emma got the purple ones, which I love, the two-tone. And then the pink was really cute, too. Now here's something pretty big. We're pretty excited. We are going to get a trampoline for the kids for their birthday. That will, like, be their present. That's it for their birthday. Um, but we are really, really excited. I kind of like these rectangle ones. They... Um, I think aesthetically it'll look nicer in the backyard than the round ones and and the reviews are really good the no gap safety enclosure so the kids cannot like get their legs stuck and everything so it looks really nice so we are very excited about that it's actually not that badly priced for a trampoline anyway that should be really fun I know the kids will love it. They have friends that have trampolines and stuff and they just, they don't stop when they're at their house. So I think this would be a really cool, fun thing for them to do. Get themselves outside. It's nicer out now. So I'm really excited for that. All right, another really good idea that I love and the kids love is book sets. Quinn actually loves to read and Emma, She's coming around, so, um, but these box sets are actually not bad at all. Any boy in your life would pretty much love uh, Captain Underpants, so they have the whole box set here. It's under 40 bucks, so that's not too bad, and it's all 10 books, so that's pretty cool. I've always heard really good things about this box set. I survived. Quinny's teacher last year loves this set. He says that they are very good. They are all actually based on real things that happen in real life, which is awesome. So like here, the attack of the Grizzlies, the eruption of Mount St. Helens. So these are real things that happened. Um, so the kids are actually learning about something that's real in an interesting and fun way for them to learn about it. So I think that's really cool because they're true. So another really good one is the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Quinny loves these books. There's this one is The Magic Tree House. Those are really good. We actually have that entire set. Now, I think this is really fun. We got the Polaroid Snap Instant Camera. So the kids have been looking at cameras and they're kids. So instant gratification is pretty cool. And you know what? Polaroids are freaking awesome. Everybody knows they're awesome. So they have all these different colors, um, which is really, really cool. So you could choose whichever color. So if you have multiple kids, then get different colors. So nobody fights over who's is who's. Oh, to go back to the reading a little bit, this I think is just too cute. Making a little reading nook in one of the kids' bedrooms with the teepee. Look how sweet that looks. Yeah, it's Emma's teacher has a teepee reading nook in her classroom, so that is really nice. So when you're done with your work, you get to go over to the reading nook, but it just looks really nice. It's cute, comfy, cozy. I mean, look at that, how cute is that? I don't know, when I was a kid, I remember always wanting to have my own little space. So I think the teepees are a really, really cool, fun way to have your own space. This is actually pretty fun. It's a 3D printing pen. Um, we actually got the kids this maybe a couple years ago for Christmas. 
Um, they were maybe a little too young for it at that point, but now this thing is really cool. So you get to actually literally make your own toys. But this is actually really fun. The kids like doing it. It's very creative. It's just, it's just awesome. I actually thought these were interesting. They're cut resistant gloves for kids. So now that Emma's getting a little older and Quentin, they're both getting more interested in helping out in the kitchen, but they'll do pretty much anything except for touch a knife or even come close to a knife or, oh my gosh, mom, there's a knife on the table, right? I thought these would be really cool for them to get the feel of the knife and get used to it without actually being able to even injure themselves. So they do have a kid size guide here, so I would just make sure that you get the right size for your kiddo. And of course, walkie talkies. It is nice to have like some real walkie talkies so that your kids can just play and adventure and I think my kids would definitely love it. So. I thought that would be a fun thing to add to the list. And there's red and blue for these ones. All right, last but not least, a bike. Of course. This is the Guardian bike, but it's the Sure Stop brake system that they have. And look how cute these are. So there's six speed, there's one speeds. I mean, look, I love the teal. You know I love the teal. The teal and pink, so cute. They have all different colors, my gosh. Okay, so there's the pink. Oh, a blue and a green, that's nice. Purple, the teal, red, I like that. And a light blue. I bet you Quinny would love this one. I don't know, Emma's kind of hard. She might like this one, purple and teal. I think these are super cool, super fun. Who doesn't like having a bike? All right guys, that was my Christmas list for the kiddos, I think. Those are some pretty cool gifts. I think the kids would love them, and they are like non-toy, because we have enough, and they're gonna get more. So be sure to check all the links down below. I will put the links to everything I talked about down below, so you can get one for yourself, or at least read the reviews, and check it out, and look at the pictures, and read all about it, so you can make an informed decision for your purchases for your kiddos this year. So I hope you found some value in my Christmas list for the kiddos. Please let me know what your favorite thing was, or what you think you might get your kids. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Happy shopping, and I'll see you next time.